everyone, you might be in a situation where your iPhone keyboard is missing. Now, what does this mean? Well, maybe you're going through and actually typing something in within your keyboard, and you're trying to see whether it's actually still there, or if it's like, you know, whatever, and you're trying to switch a keyboard, but the keyboard that you're using is constantly missing. It can be a language keyboard, it can be like Gboard or another third-party keyboard. The first thing I recommend doing, though, is making sure that when you're holding down and you're switching keyboards, you're holding down on the emoji icon on the bottom left right here, and you can choose a different keyboard that's available. Now, if you see your keyboard that's available, all you want to do, it's super basic, just tap into that keyboard and the keyboard will actually just switch for you. So you can just tap into here, choose your different keyboard, and that may end up fixing it. Now, if that doesn't end up working, or if your keyboard is not popping up at all, you may just want to go ahead and swipe out of that particular pop-up and go back into your text box, tap in it again, and that might show that your keyboard will come up again. Now, if that's not working, you may want to hop inside of your keyboard settings. So what you can do here is tap into settings just like this. You want to scroll down into general, which is right here. And then you want to go and scroll down into, you know, keyboards. So you should basically be able to see a little keyboard option somewhere. As you can see for me, it's right here. So tap into keyboard and here under keyboards at the very top, tap there. And all you're going to want to do is add a new keyboard. So if you see your keyboard here, you should be okay. But you may have to click on add a new keyboard here. And you can add your other keyboard that you have available right into this panel right here. And that's another thing you can do to basically fix this problem as well. If that's still not working, you can try restarting your phone. So hold down the buttons you normally would to restart it, swipe to power off, that might end up fixing it. You can also try updating your iPhone as well by tapping into your settings application right here, going into general settings, clicking on software update, and then updating your iPhone. That's another thing you can try doing as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.